So as usual, I'm going to start from the left and scroll my way to the right. I guess I just have a creature of habit. So as you see, the dirt mound is almost non-existent. Now remember, when I, well, I don't know if you remember, but I remember it is when that big dirt mound was there, it looked like it was right up against Toontown, and it made it look like there was not very much space there. But now that it's gone down, and after you look at the satellite images, you can totally see that there is a lot of space between that and Toontown. Which is, makes it weird because they put this structure diagonally here. Well, I'm sure they did it for a purpose. I'm sure they know what's going on. But um, I guess everything behind that, I'm assuming, is going to be backstage. But you know how they are. They can put a queue line and put a building um, backstage. And you wouldn't even know you're backstage when you're inside the, the ride show building. So who knows how it's going to be. But there's a lot of digging going on over here by the building. Uh, you can see they're doing more work there. I think it's time for them to start building the second show building. And now that they got a lot of the dirt in place, and as you're going to see as we scroll through, a lot of the dirt and the landfill and stuff and um, the sides to berms and hills and everything are starting to really take shape. And you can see that's where all that dirt went. Now they don't have to store that dirt anymore, they'll probably start building that uh, second show building over there or at least start getting the uh, base for it or digging another basement. Who knows? Maybe that one requires one too. Over here you can see they've done more grading on the... Um, Definitely smoothing out the land and the dirt there, uh, making it more of a permanent hill right there where they're not going to be taken away from it anymore, it looks like. It looks like they're really starting to sculpt, I guess would be the word, they're going to sculpt the uh, terrain around this area now. If we come over here, you can see the uh, Fantasyland entrance. Not a lot changed. You can definitely see rock work to the right of it. Um, I'm interested to see what's going on over there, but uh, I'm gonna have to move the camera angle over to get the uh, Frontierland entrance. But before that, we want to check out the Fantasmic Storage. So the Fantasmic Storage, you can see the second floor really starting to take shape. Now from over here, when you first look at it, you're like, that's not a very tall second story. Um, but if you look, you'll see a ladder on there. It looks like about an 8 foot, maybe a 10 foot ladder. And you can also see a uh, blue canopy. Those are pretty tall and the wall goes above that. So that leads me to believe that that is tall enough for a second story on top of the Fantasmic storage uh, area there. So I'm still sticking to that I think that that is going to be a second story that will be used for who knows what, maybe cast members to get ready for Fantasmic, maybe something else, maybe a lounge, who knows. To the right, we talked about the Pony Trust Bridge over there uh, the other week, it's still about the same. You can see the, a lot of work being done as far as, I think they're really starting to finalize the, the dirt and the leveling and sculpting the land in all the different areas, which is really cool because that means they're getting close to them to putting more permanent things on top of that, whether it be um, shrubbery and trees or set design or whatever it could be. Okay guys, I, uh, jumped, I had to move over um, because for the next few shots you got to move down the parking structure, otherwise you're not going to see it because there's big poles and trees in the way. So right here we're looking at the uh, Frontierland entrance from, um, you can see Big Thunder Mountain in the background there, you see it right there. Um, you're going to walk through that entrance right there. Actually, I think uh, yeah, you see a crane or a vehicle right in front of it to get into Star Wars Land, which is not too far away from the other entrance from Fantasyland. So it's going to be really interesting to see how the train passes the front of those entrances on the other side, obviously, because you don't want to see it from Star Wars Land, but see how they integrate that experience with the tunnels and with the walkway and when you're going to be walking into through these different lands, Fantasyland and Frontierland, into Star Wars Land. I'm really excited to see how they make that work because it's totally going to have to be themed and decked out and I bet you it's going to look totally awesome. I mean, I'm, I'm really stoked about this. And we already talked about the bridge there. Um, they're doing a lot of work on the other side of the wall here. I'm going to tell you what, for sure today, I am going into the parks and going to see what I can get. Now, I can't guarantee you that I will be getting any footage because they got walls up and stuff, but I'm going to try to look over walls. I know some high points and stuff, but you know they strategically have trees and everything just right in the way where you want to see the detail work. You can't because the things are blocking, but I'm going to try my best to get you guys the shot. 
Alright guys, from where I'm at, I don't know if you can see or not, but I'm by Big Thunder Ranch Mountain over here, by Big Thunder Mountain, the railroad, the roller coaster, and I cannot, this willow tree is in my way, but you can kind of see the white bridge behind it there, and they're doing some construction, I'm going to try to move closer, but this ground was a little bit higher up than the other ones, Let's see what we can find. Okay, so you can see there is a rock up there that they've been constructing. Um, sorry for the shakiness, but I don't have my tripod with me because I'm in the parks. And then we're recording. You see they've got some rock formations going on over there. Um, see what else we can find here. I'm trying to peek through the holes here so you guys can see some of the uh, rock work and stuff that they're working on there. But a lot's going on. Sorry guys, this is the best angle I can get over here by Big Thunder Mountain. So it really looks like the train is going to come across right by the walkway. So you're going to be able to see people on the train across the walkway as it goes across the entrances to the um, other lands here, to the Star Wars land. I'm going to head over to Fantasyland and to Hungry Bear Restaurant to see what I can see over there. Okay guys, I'm over here by Hungry Bear Restaurant and again, shaky video, but I'm looking over the fence, I'm kind of up by Splash Mountain, looking over the fence at Star Wars Land, and you can see the work being done over there, there's some work right there, but right over here, where is it at? Oh my gosh, I lost it, there it is, right there, sorry guys, I'm looking through the lens, uh, you can see definitely that's going to be a water feature right there, there's some rock work, there's a bridge, I thought maybe that was the passing to go underneath into Star Wars Land right there, but uh, it looks like it's a solid wall on the other side there. But really cool to see all the different work that they're doing there. You can see how the rocks look gray, but obviously they're going to be painted and there'll be trees and animals and all sorts of good stuff going on over there. So I'm peering through the fence here, so you'll see some darkness as I shake. But you can see what we were looking at earlier there, um, what I think is the bridge for the train and some uh, water feature that will probably go underneath it. Um, I don't think I can get it, but right below me here, that looks like that's the beginning of a walkway that's going to be happening from right where I'm standing. And I'll show you where I'm standing at. Standing right across from the entranceway to standing right across from the entranceway to um, Critter Country. And there's the Hungry Bear Restaurant. So you can see that we think the entranceway is going to be right next to the Hungry Bear Restaurant. All right, guys. Now I'm in the Hungry Bear Restaurant and. I'm at the back patio area trying to sneak a shot here between a tree and a fence. But you can see there's a lot of work going on back there. Pretty much the same shot as before, but some different, uh, different angle. Now, so over here, last week somebody pointed out, it was really great, you know, I talked about the wall being extended to where the train is crossing, and they had said they saw a cart go by, and I saw that in post-editing. It's hard to see those things when you're videotaping, because a lot of times I'm looking into the screen and I'm talking, or even I'm looking over there, but I might be looking a different direction when I'm talking about something. But they said, there's a, you know, perception is from here, when you're looking through a lens, it's it's... It looks a lot smaller, the opening from over here, but it's probably a lot bigger than it is, um, than it looks, not that it is, because it's the same size that it is, but it's probably a lot bigger than it looks. So, for sure the train's going to be going over there, um, and we got, we were assuming we're still walking through between those uh, three, you know, the white tarps that are surrounding the Hungry Bear restaurant patio area there, and the wall to the left. Um, we're assuming you're going to be walking through there and then coming into Star Wars land through this back wooded area, which with the concept art looks like they can do some really cool stuff in this area. So I'm really stoked about that, really excited to see that happen. Um, I think a lot of the work, I mean there's a lot of work going on on this side too. Let me zoom down here. I mean, you can see all the forms and all these things happening, um, but I think there's a lot of work also happening on the other side of the walls because that's going to open up way before uh, Star Wars lands open up. They're going to open up River America, or Rivers of America this summer, and then Star Wars land could be a whole another year away from that date. So, you know, depending on if there's any delays or anything like that, we'll see though. Um, nothing really going on with the wall at the bottom of your screen there behind those trees. Same, same wall, same location, nothing's moved. 
So check it out guys, there is a new slab of concrete on the ground right there, going all the way up to the basement. You can see it, uh, it looks permanent, I mean they got some forms on the side of it, so looks like we have our first uh, permanent concrete on the ground near that uh, basement area. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be back next week. Uh, actually, I'll be back this upcoming weekend and I'll probably shoot another Star Wars Land video because I like to keep you guys updated. I know a lot of you guys don't live around Disneyland and these are the only chances you get to see is what you see on YouTube of what's happening at the construction sites. So if you like these videos, hey, I, you know, subscribe to the videos. I put these in a separate playlist. Right now I'm doing Vlogmas. Um, so I am posting a video every single day about just different things in general in my life, uh, usually related to Disney this morning. Well, not this morning for you guys, but on my channel we posted uh, the City of Orange Christmas tree lighting ceremony. But if you like these videos, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, all you construction guys out there and gals. Um, tell me what we're seeing, because uh, like I always say, I have no idea. I'm just a fan of Disney. And as usual, here's a montage of time lapses.